Eh, ha, ha. What is that? What is that? What is that? I got a drink. You got the sireng. I got the sireng. Sireng? What's good? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Saying. Today, we're going to know if we can abide by the rules. Because we will be talking about... Relationship rules. One, don't pick up the phone. Don't let them in. You have to hang out again. Three, don't be his friend. In the morning, if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. I got new rules. Sign up to Alipa. Sign up to Alipa. Okay, but let's just see what I'm You guys should start first because I feel. Why, yeah? I try to say that we've been here more. That's why. Yes. yes. That's not true. That's not true. Have you seen a controlling guy? Exactly. I've seen controlling men. Okay, okay, okay. Very biased. All the time they will try and control your hey, life. Okay, my, my opinions are biased because I, um, not say I don't have rules, but I usually cater to the woman first. The number one rule for my relationships that I have for myself, I don't have rules for other people, I have rules for myself. Oh, okay. Okay. I always try to make his penis hard. Not his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. very valid. Yes, yeah. make his dick hard, not no. his life. So he will make your pussy wet, not your eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. No, I, I think Kisha has a lot of rules. Confirm, yeah, confirm. You look, you look, confirm. Nah, you look right like, now. You look like you have a lot of rules. You look like baby. Not. No, no. my celebrity no. birthday. Okay, <laughs> that, that's one. As in, yeah, that's fine. If but not, like, you let's just say. I didn't throw at him. I threw at wall. I will not compromise on certain things, but I will not have a rule because like that just means it's not a good thing for me. But for me, like I want, I want a monogamous relationship. Like if he tells me he wants to be open, I'm like maybe not now. But like it's my values, ah. So like I want children, hundred percent. So if you don't want children, then sorry, not for me. Let's say at the start, then like oh I don't know whether I want to marry him or not. But if I get married to him, here are. Some rules. rules, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. Looking, if, for example, I want kids. Yeah, but yeah. I would not like have rules like oh you can't go out with your friends or whatnot. That's them. If he wants to cheat, he'll cheat on you regardless. True. So like, okay, you got rules. Maybe it's not rules. Maybe it's more like boundaries. Mm-hmm. Boundaries. Or like, Stop trying to make what? it sound like <laughs> Or like things you you just don't do to each other. So like for me, like honesty the, is the biggest thing. Mm. Okay. So like I cannot if someone lies to me. Whether you're my boyfriend, whether you're my friend, you just have to be honest with me. If you lie, then like, I will flare up know. or I will. What if it's a lie? I, I will always know. know. It started as a rule for me because I used to be the little baddie in the relationship, so mm. I would be the Liar. dishonest one. Mm. Yeah, I would oh. you know not do the nicest. What thing. do you usually lie about? Where I was, oh, okay. <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> you, you know, like yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I just used to be dishonest. But then I found that there was no point in being dishonest mm. when you are in a relationship. Then I might as well just. Take myself out of the mm. situation, right? Mm. So for me, like being in a relationship takes a bit for me. Like I would know that I want to commit to you, then I will be like super loyal to you, mm. and I'm putting in effort. Mm. But if I'm not at the place where I want to be loyal or whatever, then I'm like, no, then we're not doing a relationship. I feel like honesty is most important. I mean, it's always important. Yeah. But I feel like honesty at the start of the relationship is the most important. Mm. So you set the oh, you the, set the, the, s- the yeah. standards. Yeah. For example, like um. What Muna just said, right? She doesn't want to see the only one person, right? Mm. So I mean, in the first month or second month, you tell them like, oh, hey, like yeah. I'm very interested in you, but I'm not ready to settle down. And then it helps the guy manage their own feelings also. Yeah. Yeah. So if let's say, oh, you no, know, I really like her also, but if she's not really, then I won't take that step further to enter that hole where Correct. I'm in love with you. And then yeah. it gets so confusing when like it's a one-sided kind of relationship, yeah. and then like you affect people's emotions and lives. It's just. Too much drama. I see you in your crazy. Yeah, you have, yeah, you yeah. have. So that's why, like, I feel like I get very triggered once I'm in a relationship. Mm. I like commit to it because I chose to be in a relationship. If I didn't want to, then I would not. You know, if I have already decided to be committed, mm. and these are my expectations that we are both committed mm. and we both like are honest. And if I find out that you are dishonest, that's why I say I will flare up or I will like. I will just feel very betrayed, lah. And it's I scary. also don't like to be controlled. So if you control me, also, like I feel like I've already established that I don't like that. Mm. 
Like just trust me I feel like okay trust me. This is my theory about controlling people um, I feel like you only feel like you're being controlled Because it was not communicated to you before For example, like lamest example If you go to clubbing, you need to text me when you're there then I feel yeah. like okay, I, yeah. I I understand where you're Correct. coming from. Yeah. Yeah. You just want me to you just want me to tell you that I am there yeah. so that you will leave me alone or whatever it is like. Then I feel like that is a simple rule that I can live with. Mm-hmm. For example, if you don't tell that and then you get angry with your partner because they don't text you, then your partner will feel why are you controlling me. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like control only comes when it's not communicated. I disagree. Eh. Like oh. let's say someone tells you you have to do this as some stupid ridiculous request. Like mm-hmm. you need to text me when you get to the club. I'll be like no. No. Oh, why? What if he's but, put it nicely? Like, hey, do you mind if he texts me? For what? No, no, no. Just no, no. What, is, what is his yeah. boundary? Like, he just yeah. like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't, I completely don't mind you going, but just, just tell me when you are, and that's it. If there's a reason, like, uh, let me know if you're gonna be out late so that, you know, I don't lock the door, and I leave a key outside. Then that makes sense. But if it's just let me know where you are for f- why? Okay, for me, like, it's more like a check in, like, just. Yeah, it's like, have you eaten? No, that's the difference. The difference is if I don't tell you that I eat, you're not gonna get angry. What? Or it could be like, oh, I'm not gonna reply you for a long time because I'm gonna be out partying, clubbing. Then yeah, it's okay. Like, so like, okay, bye, bye. I'm, I'm gonna party now. Bye. Like, have yeah. fun. Like, okay, if let's say mm. we put it out in our own experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, when I ask, I just want to know if she's safe. So when you're there, I know who you're with or whatever it yeah. is. I know who to call. Whatever if something happens. Now I think because I'm very comfortable. Like the rules are like whatever lah. Like you what. We don't really, I don't really have rules. But like, let me like expose my 21 year old self. I'm fucking crazy. If he goes clubbing, no, why are you going clubbing without me? I don't even understand. What's there to do at the club? Who you want to talk to? All your friends, you can talk to them. You don't need to go clubbing, what? Last time, did you have the rule of like, don't go clubbing? Don't go clubbing without me, la. Why do you have to go oh, without, without me? You. Okay, yeah, why do you want to do that? Loud music, you can play loud music in the room, why? I can off the light, on the light. Can use the flash function on my iPhone. Pew, pew, pew. Just saying, I'm not like this anymore. But let me tell you about men. Don't want to go clubbing with their girlfriends. It's not always that they want to cheat, right? <laughs> it's not. It's not always that. It's not I mean, a boy that, thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like boys. like girls have slumber parties without their boyfriends. It's true. It's not. <laughs> no, wait, you know, why? Why not? No, no. I explain to you the but feeling. Like girls' night, like girls' night. Like yeah. girls yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. Sl- slumber Sports parties. Yeah. Who has slumber parties anymore? Okay. I don't know. It's just a boys thing, lah. You know, like okay, we we. We are not doesn't mean we want to cheat. Right? <laughs> yeah. hey, but I know a lot of guys like that. They but, like leave the wife at home and then like they go out and then they f like young girls. I know so oh many guys God. like that. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like some other men they just like what's this one like girl? Ah free. You know yes. it's like when you leave work that feeling of freeness. Yeah, yeah because But at least like, a girl is not very like I mean the fact that you feel very restricted in your relationship. Mm. I don't think it's about feeling restricted. Like, I, I get what you mean because mm. I also get the feeling like yeah, I love spending time with you, but sometimes I just need my own time, mm. and that's why I always need someone who understands like we need space apart, and it's okay. Yeah. And if it's about me like going partying with people, if it makes you uncomfortable, then we need to have a conversation about like what the boundaries are, like whether I check in with you mm. or like you know like I, I just like say like okay, I'm here safe, whatever it is. Think Sounds like you just want to go out and cheat. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> let me give you another so, example. We clearly all cannot date. Can not date. Got an excuse. <laughs> yes, sometimes you just need your own space. No matter what you are, okay, boy, girl, whatever, you just sometimes need your own space from the relationship. Sure. Why do you have space to be in a club with you? other men? Yeah, no, no, I don't can be at home. Who's there at home? Oh my god. Okay, 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 wait, wait. Let me put it again. Babe, babe, wait, wait. Babe, look. Just need to be honest. Yeah. Like to me, it's just just tell me where you are, or I tell you where I am. I don't feel obligated to tell you who I'm gonna be with, where mm. I'm gonna be with. But right. it has created so many issues. Like I can tell you, like, oh, uh, babe, I'm going out for dinner with who, and then like it just, it's a con- continued conversation. Like every time I say I'm going out with who, he has to ask like with who, where, right. what time. Like he has to ask me all these things, and then it gets to a point where he's like, why do I keep having to like pry? information from you like I feel like you're hiding something from me and I said like no I'm not hiding anything from you when we ask who what where we sound like we are controlling and we don't want mm-hmm, to sound mm-hmm. like that because that's not our intention we just want to know yeah unless you say like oh I'm going to a sketchy bar mm. or a sketchy club then mm. of course we will say something about it like hey yeah. why the f- the most dangerous place to send your man is a siam tiu oh a, a siam tiu yeah? thai disco and the reason why these thai discos are so dangerous is because 
there are women who will go up to your boyfriends and be friendly with them. So they will come and they'll be nice to you and they'll ask you about your day and they will oh. like, yeah, how are you? You yeah. know, let's play a game, let's drink. I'm okay. cool, I'm so cool. Look at me, like drinking with you guys. Yeah. And then that is where the guys fall. It's true, it's, true. it's true, yeah. Ah. So actually, but, like I never entertain. I've been, I've been to some tours, and I don't like when they entertain me. <laughs> yeah. I don't like. I really don't like. I like what they do, what they do, what they do. You are turning away. What is that? What is that? I got training. I got the siren. I got the siren. Oh. <laughs> siren. <laughs> What's cool? Mm. Hey, hi. Uh-huh. Hi, hi. What's your name? Uh, do my body hey, language? Exactly. Hey, what is this? This is my body language. I don't want to talk to you, lah. Okay. Yeah, okay, Martel, you want ice? Wow, Martel and Tiger beer is very subdued. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, take, take okay. this one. Okay, dice? Do you want to play dice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you like cat or dog? You like cat or dog? <laughs> Have any men put dressing rules on you guys? Yes. All the time. Okay, so like the one that I did was because of the teacher. He, he thinks that I'm not being like very modest. Mm. But like I literally could just be wearing an off shoulder top. I, was, I used to be in SQ, so like for example, like I'll go out right, and be like, oh take a picture. Then I'll like, send one good picture. I was, I remember wearing an off shoulder top and jeans, okay, and they asked, can I even see my f***ing cleavage? And he said, why do you always have to be the sluttiest one of all? Hey, <laughs> like f*** you eh! Like, my mom has even caught him like, just like pulling up my stuff like that in public. And then my mom said, like, what's wrong with him? Like he'll be quite aggressive with like the way he pulls up my Oh my, my god. god. Even your mom doesn't do yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, my mom doesn't do that. Yeah. My mom was like, I think you need to break up this guy. And I did. After that relationship, I was like, if a guy tries to control my dressing, I'm never dating. Because, mm. like, f this shit. I never put any dressing. Like, yeah. Rules, do you e- not ever, like, get, like, I don't know, protective? Like, is there not nothing in you that says, like, oh, you need to dress, like, more no. decent? Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Some men think that the way you dress is you inviting. Yeah. Which to me also don't make sense. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense. I feel like you're only inviting if you are literally inviting. Inviting, you're right. For yeah. example, if the guy hits on you and you, your body language like, oh, hello, that's you inviting. Yes. That's when I will A. Yes. That is hey, your yeah, stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can wear skimpily or like, you know, Whatever. sexier, show more skin. But if you sit with f***ing class and you know for a fact that this is your boundary, the man here, you like, no. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people say that like things happen to you or like you're giving off the wrong idea because of the way you dress and like try to mm-hmm. put like you in a box like no you should dress this way you should dress this way you shouldn't mm-hmm. be wearing this like I'm like this is what I chose to do and yeah like at the end of the day am I entertaining other people no I'm not mm-hmm. no. Okay. Oh, yeah. so annoying I understand how they feel because I feel this way sometimes when I control how like my boyfriend's dress once in a while because we're going somewhere and I cannot take someone with me who is in Uniqlo Pokemon t-shirt and fit flops so oh, I have okay. to then say we are going for a very nice dinner that is valid yes but that's no, I think, but that's that's, I think men have the same some 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 people have this some guys have the same thing where they want to have a partner that is seen with a some esteem, whatever that means to them. So sometimes they want women who dress modestly because they believe they want a modest looking woman by their side, a decent woman. It's their own idea of what decency is. Have any has anyone ever put rules on you? Oh like no man. Wise? <laughs> Some styles, yes. The styles. Yeah, it's like oh, you do you boo. No, I feel like some men need rules. I saw this guy come to my friend's wedding. She's like an influencer. He came to her wedding in Timberlands and shorts. And I was looking at his girlfriend like, you should. What the f- is but this I think okay, I think there's, there's, a, there's a difference there's between like appropriate. Uh, occasion wear yeah. which is what you like kind of impose and that's okay because it's just saying like hey it's kind of a black tie event like dress you know like, right? dress it's appropriately yeah. Yeah. then coming into someone's life and saying like you are looking too slutty mm. like change it there's so many ways to put it like don't call your girlfriend a f***ing slut just because Correct. you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, that's true. yeah but then we are talking about two different things right? one is being yeah. like outwardly nasty to your partner disrespectful mm. and then the other one is trying to like in a weird kind of way help. Mm. So like maybe your boyfriend will tell you don't I don't think you should wear this. Not because he's like, I'm scared other men are looking at you, I'm scared you're cheating, but like more like I don't know how you'll be perceived at this event if you dress this way. Mm-hmm. That's so then it, yeah. it becomes a But let's not deny let's not deny the fact that there are men who think that when you dress this way you are inviting them. Yeah, and yeah, some yeah. people there are some people some boyfriends maybe their intention is to, you know, yeah. make sure you are safe. 
But there's right? definitely a push and pull, I think, because like a lot of guy times guys are reacting to their girlfriends dressing slutty, and then they get angry and they'll be like, oh, you dress as such a slut. But what they're actually picking up on is that their girlfriends are not entirely faithful or honest to them. And then they just it just manifests in the way she's dressing. So then they just go and then they attack the dressing. You shouldn't be dressing. So this I'm speaking from experience. They say you dress so slutty, you dress so slutty. Why are you going for other guys? And then I'll guess like him. I'll be like, just cause a woman is dressed slutty doesn't mean she's looking for other men. I totally was la. He was just picking on the wrong thing. You know? Okay. Yeah. Versus. Okay. It's hard to say. I just think the way you dress is literally the stuff you put on your body. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But if you feel that there's something wrong, there could be something wrong. Mm. You are just picking on the wrong thing. Sometimes the boyfriend will say to the girlfriend and start, because they hear it from other people mm-hmm. and they feel like they need to protect their identity. For example, if someone tells me like, hey, your girlfriend looks damn slutty, I'll be fucking offended. Of course, I will, I will scold them. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if two or three or more people tell me like, hey, you know your girlfriend wear a skirt so she can see her panties off, then I'll be offended. I'll be like, hey, if next time you want to wear this kind of shirt, so wear safety shirts or whatever, fight is lah. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah, so like sometimes this kind of things happen and sometimes men tell you, they, they decide not to tell you why and they might come off as control. So yeah. what did we learn? Okay, it, it is normal to have relationship rules, guys. It is yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. I think but so. make sure your rules have good intentions yeah. and make sure your rules are not very ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot go clubbing. Yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Can I go clubbing? Can I go clubbing? Okay, whatever is, your rules shouldn't restrict your partner in being themselves. Yes. Yes. If your rules restrict your partners from being themselves, means you are with the wrong partner. Should you change for your partner? I feel like, yes. Yes. You should change for your partner depending on what. Yeah. 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 If you need to change your job for your partner, I feel like that's a bit, you know? Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah if it's you're... a big conversation to have. Yeah. Like, for example, if not like, why, you know why, our line, why, our line. Yeah, yeah. If for example, your partner yeah. says, "I don't like you being an influencer," oh. then if we know for a fact that okay, we cannot change being an influencer, then you are with the wrong person. Yeah, right. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, there are yeah. so many people out there. People tend to settle and then try to change. Yeah. Mm. But usually, it doesn't. It doesn't really work. No. Yeah. Mm. People change when they want to change. Correct. Yeah. I always believe that. Um, you shouldn't change for the person. The yeah. person should make you want to change. And what that means yes. is, when I'm with my partner and I see her act this way to certain problems or certain things, and I'm like, oh my god, that is not me. Mm. Like I would have reacted different way, differently. Okay, I learned from that. Yeah. 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 And Kishan brought up something really good, which is that have the conversations, early, the difficult conversations early on, so that mm. you guys are like aligned mm. with how yeah. you feel. About Ask them, bro, do you have a problem with my dressing? They say yes. Then what is it? Yeah, what is it? Them straight yeah, what like, is it? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Important. Okay. Three things. What are the three things? Number one. Intention. Number two. Communication. Number three. And. Change your man. <laughs> <laughs> Trust. 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 Okay, bale, bale, bale. Alright. So, intention. Trust. And communication. Or if all these three doesn't work. Change, change your man. <laughs> change your man and change your woman. Yeah. So you got to the end of this episode. I hope you guys like it. You guys have anything you like us to talk about? Let us know in the comment section below. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.